Hello and welcome back to Combat Rust. Uh, today I'm going to show you something I discovered accidentally whilst working on a semi-big project. Um, and it is an easy binary counter that can count upwards and also can count downwards. Now, usually for a binary counter, what you'd have is a normal counter like this. Uh, we just set a momentary input into increment counter. And we have all of these pass-through values at 2. And then what we do is, when that value hits 2, we would have an electrical branch, which clears the counter and adds 1 to the next one. Okay, so then what we can do is, if we press this oddly placed switch, we, uh, that I can't... Oh my god, it's, it's glitched, hold on. Right, there we go. So when I press this switch, you'll see we count up in binary. So there's binary 3... Four, five, six, seven, you get the idea. And it goes all the way to nine, and then it will reset. Now, the problem with this is that when there is a one on this counter, it's not actually outputting anything. Now, you may recall in my big, big uh, display video that I, I used a solution where I had a timer in there that would block the input of... Uh, that would block the input of the clear and the the add one function so that you could output on one and that led me to be able to make that counter but this new solution I've come up with I could remake that whole thing with just four memory cells and I think that's pretty cool so if we just head on next door and also I'm going to start doing a new thing um, up here I've got a shout out board now this shout out today goes to Martin55 uh, long time friend and YouTube partner, he's playing FIFA right next to me. Uh, yeah, go subscribe to him, I'll leave his link in the description. If you want to be featured on this board up here, just give us a comment, message me on Discord, uh, combat7871. And oh, you could you could email me if you're a stone, if you're like a Neanderthal or something. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's get into what you've actually come to see. So... This is super easy. We can count up the binary just like there with just four memory cells. And I could remake that whole thing with just four memory cells. All we've got to do is wire a momentary input into the toggle function. And then we take the inverted output like this. And we put it into the toggle of the next one. Toggle of the next one. Toggle of the next one. And that is it. And then we put the outputs into the corresponding binary lights like that and then oh, this is glitched as well and then we can count in binary so there we've got binary oh god what's that seven is that seven eight yeah that's seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen Although 16 is, is 0 because it resets on the 16th pulse. Uh, now this is pretty cool in itself because when we have a 1 on here, or this light is up, you can see here that this is outputting. So then we can correspond this with a track of numbers just like my counter video. So this means that I could make that whole thing again with just 4 memory cells. So I also said that you can count down with this. And yep, yeah, you can. So let's just... Take out all of these, and then what we need is three electrical branches. So we just place them above here, and then what we do is we take the inverted output, put it in, inverted output in, inverted output in, and then we don't, and then we just take this inverted output into there. So then what we do is we take the power out, put it into the lights, power out into the light, power out into the light, and then the branch out we can put into the toggle no wrong way needs to go down there just need to sort of crisscross them like that and now we can count down from binary so here we have binary oh god what's that um, 8, 4, 12, 16 no that's not 16 is it 14 so now we've got 14 13, 12, 11 10, 9 8, 7, 6 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then 0. Now this this is cool because every function 
off the counter I made, again, can be made with seven components. So I think that's what I'm going to do for a future video. I'm going to remaster it. Maybe 150 subscribers special as I just hit 150 subscribers. So thank you a lot for that. Now I'm just going to go over here and quickly show you what I was working on when I discovered it. Now I was working on making it into this here. So we can see that when I press this switch and it's glitched, obviously. And this one has glitched also. Jesus. Just wire that back in. Um, so when I press this button... You can see I had to do it with three because otherwise there'd have to be a lot more stuff. Uh, so that's binary zero. So that's binary one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it resets. Um, there's there's little glitches on there just because it's uh, yeah. It you can see the power power's got weird weird laws with it so. It sort of glitches out like that a little bit, but let me just run through how this works. Um, so when we have one here, it just powers in this one, simple. And when there's power going into this light, it powers on the second one. But when there's two, it gets a little more complicated. So the outputs of this and this go into an AND gate up here. So if both of these are one, it's going to output power. And then it's going to get split into three different outputs. There's a, currently a glitch where only branch outs work in logic gates, another glitch that first punch really needs to fix. Um, so if that and that are one, then it will output a one here, split that one into three, and then it will come into these OR gates, which are just extra inputs, and it will block these two and turn this one on. And it just keeps doing that till we get to three, where it's a little bit different. But here we just have two AND gates. So when these when these three inputs on the AND gates are one, it spits it out and it blocks uh, it blocks it blocks three of these. It's this one. Oh no, it's, no, it's, sorry, it's this one, this one, and this one. And these other three are being blocked because these ones are also working because all these lights are on. I know it's it's kind of complicated. But yeah, and then uh, what it does is the last output will light up this light. I know a little hard to explain, not great at explaining things, but just just for uh, confirmation, I'm going to go through how you do it again. So all we've got to do is take a momentary input into the first toggle. You can find out how to make this on my advanced blocker uses video. Um, so then what we need to do is inverted output goes to the one to the left. The one to the left, the one to the left, and then we take the outputs straight into your power source, like that, and there we go, binary counter. I just remember, if you want to count down in binary, you use a, a branch above each, each three of these, put the inverted output into it, and then split the inverted output so that it powers on the light and toggles the next one, and then this last one, you just need to put the inverted output straight into there. All right, thanks for watching this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to me and to MLV or Martin55. Uh, like the video, comment if you want to be on the featured subscriber board, and uh, yeah, I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.